Hello guys, in this video I am going to try to install Manjaro Linux in my uh, VMware Fusion Player. So the version of VMware I am using is the latest version, VMware Fusion Player version number 12.1.2. This is basically a personal license and is free to download through the VMware website. So you can just Google VMware Fusion Player 12 Personal and you will be getting this link. So you need to sign up with your email address and they will give you uh, a license key for free and then you would be able to use this virtual machine. The um, uh, Manjaro version that I will be installing is the KDE Plasma. Uh, this is the latest one, 21.1.4. They also have other versions here, but I am going for the KDE Plasma version. So both uh, applications are pretty much uh, the latest version and I am running this in the Mac OS Big Soar. So let's just go ahead and install this now. After you install VMware, it'll go into this screen right here. But since I already installed some operating system here, all I have to do is just click on the plus sign and click on new. We will be using install from disk or image, this one and let's hit on continue. So as you can see here, it automatically detects uh, the previous ISO that I downloaded. So we just need to click on use another disk image. Okay, and I am going to search for Kilimanjaro. Okay, so this is the latest one here, 21.1.4. Let's hit on open. Okay, this is already highlighted. Let's hit on continue. Uh, it automatically detects that it's a Linux system. So let's just find here. All right, for the type of Linux, since um, Jerry is not here and Arch is not also here, I think it's not supported by VMware. Uh, let's select the latest version, either Linux 5 and later kernel, 64-bit. Okay, and let's hit continue. So we have an option to use your uh, legacy or UEFI. Okay, we can leave, uh, leave it as legacy BIOS. You can also select UEFI, both are supported. Let's hit on continue. Um, there is memory. All right, so we will try to customize the settings later on. Let's just hit on finish. And let's name this. Manjaro Linux. Let's try to run it. Okay, so we have an option here. Uh, let's just leave it as default. Let's hit enter. And we are in the black screen. Let me try to reconfigure it first. We will close this out and configure this. Let's go to Accessories. Let's put 4 MB for the memory. And let's select this. Some graphics. And turn on here because I'm using the Retina display. This size we will increase this to 30 now. And okay, let's do it again. Let's go ahead and do it again. Let's 
it's loading up now. Perfect. So, oh, we have a really small screen. Let me just. Okay, let's allow that. I will be. We will go back to this later on. I will just need to set up the display here. Resolution. Because it's way too small. So what we're going to do here is, I'm going to check if we can resize this. So we can go to the display configuration. Let's increase this. Let's try this 1920 by 1080. Actually, my screen resolution is this one right here. Uh, let me just adjust this one here. Alright, so yeah, I actually found a problem. So uh, you can just go back here to the settings and hit on display. As you can see here, I use full resolution for re well, retina display. I haven't increased the graphics memory yet, so probably it doesn't support uh, the resolution of my screen. So let's just disable that first so that I would be able to see a larger icons um, for now. Then we can just play with the uh, uh, resolution later on. Let's close this one. So it will be easier for us to install this way. Now I have also uh, selected resolution here. So I think whichever resolution that you use can work. Let's let, let's try this one. Okay, yeah, uh, whatever resolution can work. So let's go ahead and go to the installation process. Let's go and launch the installer. Let's use English next. And uh, you can select your time zone in here. Let's go next. Uh, I'm actually going to use English here. Uh, okay. One lock is also working. Good. So let's go ahead and hit next. So I'm gonna erase this uh, 30 gig of hard drive uh, from my VMware. And I think it's either we can use it ext4, btr, I think uh, it doesn't matter. And for this, uh, mbr is okay, we can just leave it as is. Good, so let's now continue. Let's go ahead and click next. All right, so full name, I'm gonna type in my name here and log in. I can just type in just the first name is okay. Password, uh, let's just type in here a very complicated password. I like to log in automatically and I am going to use the same password for the admin account. Uh, makes my life easier since I'm just uh, trying to test this Manjaro here in my computer. I hit next. Everything has been set up now. Uh, it's getting exciting. So let's go ahead and click on install. Ooh, it's install now. Perfect. So we will be waiting for this. So I'm just gonna pause this video for now and then let's just wait for the installation to be done. Once the installation is done, um, I'll get back to you. Alright, so that's it. We're all done. Uh, let's go ahead and try to restart this and see if it will boot up, hopefully. Let's see if we can resize this. I am going to close this one out so that we can just focus on this one. I'm going to see if I can resize. Yeah, I, we can. We can resize it. 
and I think we can also increase the resolution for this so we're gonna go ahead and go in the display configuration this is the one selected so we're just gonna increase this a little bit I'm gonna use this one Uh, let's update this later on. Apply. There you go. So we have fully installed in general Linux in the ver um, VMware Fusion. And then my next coming videos, we will try to customize and uh, let's do some basic things before we start working with this um, in general Linux. Alright, see you in the next video.